How you doing guys? I'm Sean. Hi everybody, I'm Lynn. I hope everyone is having an amazing day today. Absolutely magical day. Guys, listen, today's video we're going to be talking about diaptes. When I say we're going to be talking about it, it's actually not. It's going to be Lynn because I genuinely have no knowledge whatsoever of it. So we're all going to be uh, learning something from the beautiful Lynn here who's my teacher, my crystal teacher. Oh, I've partner been. in crime and love. Now you're talking. <laughs> and no better partner in crime. So listen guys, so we're going to hand over. Lynn, Diaptase, go yeah. for it darling. Diaptase. Well, this amazing crystal is a beautiful, beautiful colour. And it's commonly known as the heartstone because of its beautiful dazzling green colour. Now it's like the crystals are very translucent, like a translucent glassy green with a hint of blue. And it's often mistaken for emerald. But the difference is emerald is a much harder mineral than diaptase. Diaptase is a lot softer. Now it's often found, it's found in many places throughout the world and it's usually grown in copper deposits and it's a form of copper silicate which gives it its gorgeous green colour. Now like I said it's a soft mineral, it only has a moss scale of 5 so you very rarely see it in jewellery, certainly not polished jewellery anyway. You might get it in rough pieces like usually it's got wire wrapped to like pendants and rings but you very rarely see it polished or in tumble stones because it's a very soft mineral. That's why, although it's like emerald, it will never replace emerald in the in the mineral in the jewelry states anyway. We're in the emerald dial. In the we're living in the emerald dial as well. That's right. But the colour is very much emerald. It's an amazing, amazing colour. So it's the stone for forgiveness. Now I can only speak about my experience with diaptase. Say so there's many different uses for diaptase, and many people tell you different things to what I'm saying. But my own personal experience with diaptase, what I have found it very good for very good for healing the past and very good for forgiveness and what I would do with it I would lie back for 10, 20, sometimes half an hour a day and I would put the stone either on my third eye or on the heart chakra and meditate with it, use it during my meditations and it is brilliant for being forgiveness, you know if you're holding resentment towards anybody in your past or whether it's yourself, a lot of people can't forgive themselves, they have a lot of resentment to things they've done in the past, or why did I do that, why did I say that, and they're holding it inside themselves, well, they need to learn to forgive themselves for that, and this crystal, from I found any of my own personal experience, things I've done in the past that I've never, I really hold resentment for, or even other people, do you know, you think, well, why did they do that, they hurt me, and things like that, this stone has really helped me, it's brought a lot of comfort to me and it has really helped me to let go of things in my past when I've been doing my meditations. So I would strongly recommend this, if you really have a lot of resentment in your past, people have hurt you and you know if you're somebody who can completely let go, like I am a very forgiving person, but there's things like that I've held on to that have been hurt over, yeah. do you know, and this has really helped. Just like you made a good point there about bringing up, you know, your your letting letting release and things. So I would expect that if you were going to be doing that, um, it would come up. But how fast would it come up? Would it come up pretty quick, or does it come yeah. up like? Yeah, this stone is a high vibration stone, which means it will bring a lot of stuff up very quickly. It's not a stone I would say is is very gentle, like rose quartz. Or, or even clear quartz, this would bring a lot of stuff up fast. So if you're completely new to diaptase, like I was when I first got it some years ago, I would recommend using it slowly, like doing meditation no more than probably 10 minutes to start off with. Now, there's two ways of using it for meditation, either on the third eye or on the heart chakra. You can, you can, you can place it at the bottom of your feet, but I would recommend myself. I've never ever used it on my third eye or my heart chakra. And if you're using it for forgiveness and you're using it to, to get rid of anger, if you're holding a lot of anger and resentment, I would definitely use it on the heart and hold it against the heart like that. Put your hand over it, close your eyes, take some deep breaths, go into your meditation. And if you want about the, all the hurt, think about the hurt that's gone on in your life. It might be painful to start off with because that's what brings about healing. You have to address these issues. But I find this would really help bring it up and it will help you deal with it at the same time. So also keep some other soft crystals close by, like some rose quartz and all the gentle crystals. To, to help you deal with the emotional a when box it comes of tissues. up. A, a box of tissues. But no, this, this I'm nearly is crammed with us here. Wonderful. Now. <laughs> <laughs> and also it's it's a great stone for enhancing your psychic awareness and your abilities. If you want to communicate more telepathically, you want to heighten your psychic awareness, diaptase is a great stone for using on the third eye during your meditations. But again, no definitely gently and I would not recommend carrying it on you all day or taking it to bed to sleep with under your pillow because it's a strong crystal so 
Definitely, I've only ever had experience of using it during my meditation, so I can't speak for, for anything else. Two questions, mm -hmm. cost and also how are you cleansing? Yeah, now the cost of this, these can be many different sizes and you actually pay for the quality of the crystal rather than the actual size, for example, this tiny little piece here, perfect crystal, uh, very glassy and transparent, actually costs like 20 euros, which is a lot of money for a tiny little piece, I use that on the third eye, but this lovely big chunk here, it's a big chunk of rock with diaptase all on, so although it's much bigger, it was only 50 euros because the quality of the diaptase is not as gem quality as the tiny little pieces here, so obviously you pay for the quality but anything from 10 euros or 12 dollars up to probably 100 150 depending on the size of the diaptase but it is it is a rare one it's not the most easily easy to get a hold of cleansing and the cleansing now this this crystal again because it's soft and he has a moss scale of five i would not recommend using water it, it grows in dry desert like conditions so i wouldn't try soaking it in water and definitely not salt water I would recommend giving it a sage cleanse or an incense cleanse, cleansing it with sound also, or positive intention. Uh, if you're not familiar with um, how to cleanse uh, crystals, and especially delicate crystals, as Lynn said, we've got a wee series here with about four videos on it talking about water, sage and cleansing with herbs, uh, you know, salt. Uh, be talking about the sunshine and the other absolutely and yeah like yeah that. now again with the charging crystals the sun i wouldn't recommend definitely not leaving diaptes out in the sun because because it's very gemmy and glassy i think the sun would definitely lift the color out of it so i would not recommend personally myself wouldn't recommend charging it in sunshine again it's a high vibration stone so it holds its charge as well it's one that would not need a lot of charging and I certainly would keep it out of the sun, definitely. You would not want this beautiful crystal to fade. So no, keep it in, no. a, in the dark. Sounds fascinating. In the shade. Mm -hmm. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and hope you've got it. I'm certainly intrigued by it. I'm going to be uh, you know, doing more research on until I've been working with it. And if you happen to see a piece in your travel, certainly get yourself one and let us know how you get on with it. Any advice? Um, how you are working with the, the crystals of the Aptis would be much appreciated. Guys, listen, thank you very much for watching uh -huh. and thank for all your comments and for subscribing to us here on YouTube also and Facebook and Twitter. And if you haven't already done so, please consider uh, subscribing Absolutely. to us. It's been, uh, we love having you along this journey. Wonderful. I hope this has been some help on you with Diaptase. It's, it is an amazing crystal. If you can get hold of some, definitely recommend it. So send you loads and loads of love and happiness as always from Ireland. And I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Till the next video.